letters. Dear friend, dear old friend, first question. If I danced across the landscape of a flag, trailing model paint, would you buy me a milkshake? Lights trickle on, down flickering flat screens, collapsing like fog on the gaunt shore. The dunes reflect the ridges on the roof of your mouth, like letters underneath the page. Entering the body, follow the sequacious tide, <coughs> smiling at dogs, like they really understand your lips' strange shapes. I fear for the things in my ears. I remember a bird, and its face was all blooded. I turned my head to hear the noise arranged in regions of flame beyond veils. The quiet is gruesome and full of flower. No further questions. Sunflower is Ukrainian, wrote Clarice Lispector whose parents moved to Brazil for the pogroms in Ukraine in the 1920s, who I am reading on a plane, taking me to one of the few countries I don't need a visa. Was the sunflower that I played with as a child in my grandmother's vegetable garden in a town to the west of Belarus, Ukrainian too? And who <coughs> are those borders? The air in the pores of the soil inside a worm which travels freely across the border without permission or noticed, not defined by the colour of a passport, by the colour. What colour is a failed uprising? I want to be the soil inside the worm crossing the border the air in its pores smuggled without a passport, without the colour of my passport checked for humanity, without humiliation of the failed uprising participant. Where do you come from? Where do you come back from? When will you come back from where you are from? Are you from, of, out, out of? Are you a pronoun? Preposition, noun, a space, a dash, a comma, a sunflower at the border, a worm cut in two parts by a spade digging graves. be here where the earth crinkles its face like a newborn and the sky is not black but scratched by the wings of hanging grackles. If you step beyond the mouth to the warm internal territories of flesh, the language is muffled like weather and the voice says, yes, I have seen suffering like this and I have grown tired of it. What about me? Where is my milkshake? Yours, struggling to completion, the infinitely shrinking heart of a bison in the dark hour of the nightingale, whatever my name is. I 
I swallowed the streets of Minsk, the steps and sunsets over the roofs, reflections in the windows, the sugar of. I swallowed my boxes with books, my favorite dress, my medical records, my hormonal tests, and I swallowed the problems I had with my parents, the gaps in our ancestral history, the hollows of memory, sunflower seeds in my mother's fingers. When I came back, we will cry. When I come back, it will feel like I've never left. When I come back, you will come back too, if you want, if you left. If there's anything left for you, if you are also a language lost and found again and again, disappearing and reappearing, soil in and out of the soft worm's body, never certain that this time it will work, but always believing always turn to the sun like a sunflower's head. When I come back, I will watch my mama's fingers flipping sunflower seeds in our kitchen, in her kitchen. The seeds will disappear in her mouth, like the days we spent apart. We won't talk about the life which has passed between come and back. Whatever your name is, I am writing you from the outer limits of a homicidal fantasy. I have drawn them in my hands. My eyes are positioned at such a stance as to make the most savage smile seem incomprehensible. Totally unfulfilled the promise of confusion, three torn envelopes, the wind where I am not from. Forgive me. I only shuddered because I love you and the cold was beginning to bite on my nakedness. If this is the last time I hear you, I want you to say, I forgive you. It is only by admitting your mistakes that your soul can ascend to the rainbow well on the motorway. I forget the appropriate parting phrases from your tongue. Good something, someone far distant from now, beyond the constellations of our skin.